Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me how our students get 3D results so quickly. How is it possible that someone can learn, you know, in six to 12 weeks and stuff like that? A lot of it seems like not possible, a bit unrealistic and stuff, especially if you're someone that comes into 3D and it takes you like a year to get to anywhere decent, right? So today we're going to cover, um, you know, if you're a beginner, what's your action plan to getting good really, really quickly and what process you should follow if if speed is your priority. If you're learning for fun and it's a hobby and stuff, then a lot of the stuff isn't very relevant. But if you do actually want to make money doing this stuff at some point, then you probably want to get good as soon as possible so that you can move on to actually getting clients and actually making money and, and more of the important stuff and not, you know, stuff like modeling and all that. So um, what I did when I got really good very quickly is I... Um, set up a plan of things that I'm going to do in order to uh, learn quickly. I set up a structure for my own learning process um, and set up challenges for myself. And what that does is it sets up time limits for you to learn different things. Um, one big trap that you can fall into is not having any urgency behind your learning. And then that's how you can spend six months. And even though you're doing a lot of projects, you're not really progressing in terms of your actual skill. Quite often you're just copying someone else that's doing something on YouTube um, or you're just re repeating the stuff that you already know. And you might be learning stuff, but maybe it's 10% um, every time you do a project as opposed to actually fundamentally changing your skills. So um, what I did is for, let's say, modeling, I set up a challenge. I said for two weeks, I'm going to spend every day modeling something different. And I'm going to watch a video on how to model that thing. And I'm going to learn from it. And um, let me just see how that goes. And I learned how to model pretty much everything um, within maybe two weeks or so. Uh, simply just because I put in actual focus and energy and effort into it. Uh, a lot of people just like watching random tutorials with no real end goal or end or, or any real process or structure behind what they're doing. But because I put in actual effort into you know, focusing specifically on modeling. I learned the process for modeling by modeling lots of different things. I could see that there was different patterns. Um, and I almost developed a fo formula in the back of my head of like how you model stuff. And then every time I had something new, it was the exact same process. Um, some things might be slightly different, but the overall process was the same. And I knew the model, the formula for modeling, and I never had to watch any tutorials on how to model stuff again, um, just because I went through that process. And I did that for everything. Um, so if you do want to learn 3D and you want to learn it, you know, let's say you give yourself eight to 12 weeks, you want to set up a structure and a time limit. Otherwise, you can easily be someone that's gone a year, two years, three years, and your work still just looks like everyone else's or, or very average. Um, and you're going to struggle when it comes to getting clients, if in, if, even if you have a process behind that. Um, just because even though you've spent a lot of time doesn't mean that you're actually any good. Um, so, so this is how you'll structure your stuff. So obviously you can't learn everything in 3D, right? If it's like, a, it's like medicine, if you, you need to specialize into something, uh, you can't learn everything about medicine. You need to decide what you want to specialize in and then it becomes more reasonable to, to do that stuff. So obviously we focus on product advertising. If you wanted to learn how to do uh, characters and architecture and products and everything, then yeah, it's maybe not possible to learn in 12 weeks, but because we focus specifically on products, um, our students, you know, they, they get results, you know, on, on the lower end, it's like we've had people um, learn within four weeks, on the higher end, 16 weeks, but on average, six to 12. And, and the reason why is because we structure it this way. So typically week one, um, week, firstly, like if you're a complete beginner, like if you don't know any 3D stuff, then you could say week one and two, is maybe just like familiar yourself with the UI, right? So um, UI and tools, because if you have no experience in 3D, it might be a little bit overwhelming just seeing where all the buttons are and all that stuff, right? But once you get over that stage, so I'm factoring that in, we would end up starting with modeling because you can't texture anything, you can't light anything if there's no actual models in the scene, right? So uh, you need to learn how to model first. This is something that you can learn within a week if you if you really want. Um, typically, I would say like one to two week challenge. But once someone's modeled, let's say you, you model one new object today, it'll take you an hour or two. Let's just say two hours, right, which is not ridiculous. Um, and you do that every single day for seven days, you would have modeled seven different objects. 
And within product advertising, there's not a lot of things that are super complex, like robots or things like that, that have a lot of different parts you need to model. Generally, a lot of products are fairly simple. There's like five to 10 different objects compiled into one product, right? So um, it doesn't take a lot of effort to model different things. The only most complex stuff is like a camera or a laptop, but most things like cans and stuff like that, it's just cylinders and cubes and spheres, right? So these things, once you've modeled three to five, you've got all of the tools to to model everything. We've got a formula for modeling products so that it just applies to everything. Um, so that makes your life very easy. Um, but if you even if you're watching of tutorials, if you model, let's say seven products, um, one per day over seven days, and all you have to do is just be disciplined. And it's not like you, you, you're working in a coal mine or anything, or all you're doing is just modeling stuff in your computer. So you should be able to just set up some sort of structure for yourself. Um, then after seven days, you should have 80% of what you need to model everything. And then the rest you can learn from actual client projects, right? The extra 10 to 20%. But you should have 80% of what you need. And once you've done that, once it looks good enough to move on to learning um, the other things, because, you know, you actually want your stuff to look good, then we move on to visualization. So we can say week three to five, you can spend two weeks on this. Usually visualization takes a bit more time. Let's give ourselves even more leniency. Let's give ourselves three weeks, right? So this is visualization, which includes um, texturing, say texturing, materials, and lighting. Everything to make the actual thing look good. Texturing is very simple. Applying a label to a product is not hard. Um, if you're using Blender, it might be a little bit of extra steps with the the uh, UV mapping and stuff. But stuff like Cinema 4D and stuff, it's it's unbelievably easy. You can just right click and say fit to object, and if you've got the the math right on your texture size, it'll just fit exactly perfectly, right? So that thing, once you once you just like watch a five minute step by step thing on how to do it, that's not hard. Materials and lighting can take a little bit more time to get the hang around of it. If you want to set up your, your materials in the right way for client production, meaning in a way that everything is linked together and editable. So if a client wants to change a text, you can just go into a Photoshop file, you change the text and it'll update all of your layers. It'll update um, you know, your reflection layers and your roughness and all of that stuff. And if, if one part of the material is gold and the other part's red, it's gonna update all of those things. Setting that up can be a little bit complicated at the start if you're if you're a complete beginner, but once you get the hang of it, then then it, then it's then it's much easier. And then the same with lighting, you know, where you place your lights, what should the shape of the lights be, um, you know, all of that stuff. That stuff can take a little bit of time, and that's why uh, those steps typically take longer. Texturing is unbelievably easy. You don't need to know anything about that really. Like. 99% of the time I don't use UV mapping, so that's irrelevant to even learn. Um, and then, you know, things like substance and all that stuff, you know, I would only use that if you're a really professional, but if you're just learning, you're wasting your time doing that stuff and, and you're just wasting hours. So this is why this can take up a bit more time, um, you know, setting up the materials correctly and knowing how rough and how soft different materials like metal versus plastic and stuff like that and learning how to you know, add um, scratches and fingerprint marks and then not going too far on that so that it doesn't look damaged. Things like that, it takes a little bit of adjusting. But if you commit to just like learning the stuff and just doing it on a daily basis, you can learn the stuff very, very fast. And the same with the, with the lighting. There's a formula for lighting as well. You know, if you just know the process of where your light should be, you just do that. You don't have to relearn it with every single product because um, there is a process to making things look good in general. Um, and I know because we've boiled it down, right? So then once you've gone through that, then you could argue that over six weeks, you know, so you could say week one and two is just getting your, yourself familiar with the tools and stuff. Then you start with the modeling. So like week two and three. Visualization, you could say week three to six. And you'd be surprised. Uh, a lot of our students build their first really, really good, like stuff that clients would actually use, portfolio piece, somewhere around six to seven if they obviously do everything, if they go on holiday and all that stuff, which a lot of people like to do, then yeah, you're not gonna learn anything. But if you're, if you're doing all of that stuff, you can produce your first portfolio piece um, doing this. 
you know similar like with photography because i've done photography um before and been paid for it um it might take you a few weeks to to get a hang of it but then once you've got a hang of it you can just put, produce like a portfolio piece that you can show to clients pretty quickly after that um so this would be like your first portfolio piece from this point on even if it takes you if i made it more lenient like i'm, I'm giving you a lot of time nine weeks you know nine weeks that's three months you could be on the top 10 percent of people just by committing to a structure like this right a lot of comments are going to be like oh this is obvious information and all that but then if i actually go look at their portfolio they there's going to be something in there most of the time where either they haven't learned how to do materials correctly lighting material correctly or modeling because they're not actually structuring their learning and trying to learn how to do everything properly they're just copying tutorials and they're not learning the processes behind all of that stuff they're just copying what other people are doing so that when they create their own project they don't know why they're lighting things a certain way setting up materials a certain way modeling things a certain way they're just uh you know regurgitating information from other tutorials and that's why they their work is always going to have this amateur look because um you can see that there's no principles behind any of their stuff it's just uh, piecing together things from random tutorials and that's why a lot of people's work doesn't look so great they don't know they they don't know how to even put themselves in the mind of a client and say is this client actually going to use this thing even if i gave it to them for free you know, why would a client, why would anyone pay for this thing? And what, what would they even use it for? You know, that's that's the whole portfolio section as well, um, which people don't actually think about. So this is why it's important to structure these things um, in, in the right way so that you learn things the right way and you don't spend six months learning 3D and you're wondering why no one wants to work with you and your work doesn't look great, right? So this is how you actually go about learning all of the stuff, right? And then the next step is now client attraction and, and, and all that stuff. But if you structure your stuff like this, you can get really, really good at 3D in nine months. When I say really good, I mean top 10 to 20%. That means if you look at, you know, uh, 10 different portfolios online, yours will likely be the the best one or, or two uh, pieces of portfolio, no matter how long the other person's been learning. Because I've seen people who have been in 3D for five years, 10 years, 15 years and it work does not look great at all uh, like clients would never pay for that stuff because they've been learning all these technical jargon but they don't learn about stuff that actually would apply to clients especially in the product advertising space it's all visual so you want your work to look a certain way and not just be technically right this is why things like you know topology and uv mapping and all that stuff it's all for 3d artists right you know, unless you're in the gaming industry or whatever and then it's more technical that stuff applies but when it comes to visualization all the client cares about is does this stuff look good can we actually use it for our uh, advertising and does it apply towards our goals and the things that we want to use this stuff for um and they don't care about how you've actually made it and stuff so this is why it's important to learn the stuff that's relevant for you and actually getting clients um and then after like nine weeks then you can think about your portfolio because like now okay i've got the skills now from there on how do i apply those skills into actually making money what do clients actually care about in terms of portfolio what industry should i go for because uh, some industries might not be so great for you depending on your location and you know the current market conditions and stuff like that so like what what industry and what niche should i build my portfolio in what kind of uh, projects and stuff do those clients actually care about and you know how can i make my stuff look at look in a, uh, look good in a way that you know clients when they actually see it they're interested and they're not just asking you to send them a portfolio to the email address just to ghost you <laughs> you know stuff like that so that's why it's super important to to think about these things but if you follow this process you can get really really good um very quickly the reason why people fail at this is because you know it's just normal habits and behavioral traits you know you can't be consistent for something for more than a week um so you fall off and then you try again three months and then three months later you try again and again and again and you're not really moving forward um so there's that there's the accountability obviously if no one knows that you're even doing this stuff then it's easy to just not do it um that's why you know having some sort of community having friends knowing people in the industry and sharing what you're doing is super important especially with encouragement as well 
if if you just know that you're heading in the right direction and things are going well, then it does motivate you to move forward as opposed to feel like you're you're watching all these tutorials and modeling and you're not even sure if you're learning the right stuff or things that are even relevant. And then that's where you can like lose a lot of motivation. So this is why all of these pieces are important to add together. But if you're someone who's the one to two percent of the population who is just super um, energized and motivated and you don't procrastinate, you don't take long to to you know to to make all these decisions of whether you want to do something or not and you can and you can just go, you know, you have some urgency behind your learning and, and you, you don't want to just be in the same place a year from now in terms of like actually getting clients and actually making money and and, and stuff with this. Um then you you want to structure this and you want to put it in some sort of calendar where you're like, okay, the first week Assuming you're a complete beginner, if you if you're if you're not, then just skip this first step. If you're the first complete beginner, spend just one week just learning all the tools. Like you can uh, watch a bunch of tutorials on how to use Cinema 4D, play around, just do random stuff, and try import, like try create objects and add materials and add, just so you understand where things are generally, and it's not too overwhelming. Once you've gone that, gone past that, week one, you want to do modeling. Pick a different product that's actually apply, applicable to you, what you're going to do with actual clients. Don't decide to model some um, animal or some character or something if you're not planning on actually working in that field. Otherwise, you're just learning stuff that's irrelevant, right? And you're just wasting your own time. Pick stuff that's actually going to apply to the kinds of clients that you that you want to get and learn that. Um, and then after a week, you should know 80% of what you need to know. Um, you know, assuming you're not just repeating the same stuff. It, it needs to be different types of products and stuff and stuff that's not going to take you too long, not going to be overly complex, things that, that you can do just for learning, right? Because um, you might learn how to do, um, you might pick a project that's just going to take you a lot of time and just repeating the same stuff without anything new, um, just like a lot of rep repetitive stuff. So you want to do that. Um, then the next, like, let's say three weeks, because this, this is, you know, th basically three things in there. You learn about how to apply textures to an object, how to do the materials correctly, how to light it, all that stuff. And then the next would be actually producing a first portfolio piece. Um, and then you could learn the stuff very, very quickly, but it obviously takes consistency. Um, you know, if you have friends, if you have some sort of community to correct you so that you, you don't make the same mistakes over and over again, you're not just wasting time on things, that, that would help a lot. Um, so th I would suggest that. Um, but if you're just consistent, then you can get really good. I, I guarantee you most, like, there's only like, often there's only like one to 2% of people that that are that have that energy and commitment and can stay consistent. Um, a lot of you will struggle with things like uh, accountability, urgency, you know, people like to go on holidays and things like that, even though they have no money, <laughs> Dif different things like that, um, that will get in your way and it's likely gonna take you longer. Um, so that's just also stuff that you wanna watch out for. But if you follow the stuff, um, we have a, I think it's 93% success rate with 3D um, following this formula. 93% um, of our students that apply this stuff have all gotten, you know, stuff like really, really good client work that, that clients actually want to pay for. So that's our stats that we've actually tracked and measured um, based on our students. So we know that this thing works. And um, for the other 7% of people, it didn't work. Um, simply because, you know, they just stopped applying it or they were just making the same mistakes over and over again and they, they didn't know how to just stop doing that. You know, all of those kinds of um, more personality and, and behavioral traits um, related stuff. But if you just follow the process as it's laid out, then <laughs> your work will become really, really good. So, so that's um, the structure that we use. And if you apply this stuff, you should get really, really good results. Um, if you are interested in working with us and joining our uh, 3D Mastermind, then check out our free training in the description. That way you'll be able to see, you know, how we work, how um, we've helped our students make 5, 10K a month um, doing all of this stuff and getting clients. And then you'll be able to, after that, schedule a call with me and we can see, you know, if everything that we have is a good fit for you. And if not, then we'll just let you uh, go on your way and you can just watch our free tutorials and, and learn from that or, or learn from other people as well. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one.